Welcome to the ProBrick exclusive YouTube channel with Reverend Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, as we have some healing time in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Don't turn to drugs and alcohol and stuff. Turn to the Spirit of the Lord. Turn to Him. Father, in the name of Jesus. My God, I ask you. Let your spirit descend, my God, on every listener of this video. I pray. Bring healing, my God. to these precious people. <coughs> In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Luke 18, chapter 35. As Jesus came near the city of Jericho, a blind man was sitting beside the road begging. You might be begging in your heart right now for some miracle, for some pain to go away, from a healing of your body. It could be a broken arm, it could be a headache, it could be lungs, it could be you want to give up smoking, you want to give up weed, you want to get off drink, you want to stop taking coke. Holy Spirit, help those ones right now that are begging for your help. Help them to listen, my God, to their conscience. Oh, Lord. Fill this place, my God. Father, in the name of Jesus. Broken hearts, God, let your spirit descend on those broken hearts. Help these people not to contact, not to contact that person they know they shouldn't contact. As he come along the road, <clears throat> near the city of Jericho. Jericho speaks of lost. Remember the walls of Jericho came falling down. Jericho speaks of being made exposed, being made transparent, being made bare. My God. Tearing down, falling down, let the drugs fall down, let the alcohol fall down, let it fall. Let it come crashing down. Don't let it bring you crashing down. No. No. <coughs> Sorry, viewers. And a blind man was sitting beside the road. He wasn't on the road. Wide is the road that leads to destruction and narrow is the road that leads to life. But you can't sit on the side of the road. So many people are sitting on the side of the road. Don't, please don't sit on the side of the road. Enter the narrow road that leads to life. Don't sit on the side of the road begging and hoping in your heart. Take a step towards fixing the problem, my God. In Jesus' name, do it. Oh God.
breathe in the presence of the Holy Spirit. I can sense his presence. I can sense the presence of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Step onto that road. Step on to the road that's going to lead you to life. Take away that death. Take away that death. Somebody listening to this right now has a spirit of death on their life. Step onto the road. Ask Jesus to come into your heart right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch that one by your Spirit. When he heard the people, when he heard the people coming down the road, the blind man asked, What is happening? What is happening? Many of you people are saying, What is happening? What is happening? What is happening to me? Why is this happening to me? When you're sitting on the side of the road, you don't know what's happening. That's the message here. You can't sit on the side of the road with one foot on each side of the fence and think you know what is happening. You don't know what is happening. You're just begging. You're like a beggar without purpose and without direction. Holy Spirit. Oh my God. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? I'll tell you what is happening. You have a choice. No more limbo. No more guessing. No more wondering. Surrender. Even if you lay down and roll onto that road. Start by crawling on the road. Drag yourself onto the narrow road that leads to life. Beg no more. Put yourself into a position where you know what is happening. Don't be in that life anymore. I don't know what is happening. Alcohol, drugs, medications, abuse, cocaine, all this crap, heroin and shit. Of course you don't know what's happening. How can you know what's happening? When you're abusing your mind, you're begging. You're begging for an answer that's not there. That's the wide road that leads to destruction. No, 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 don't go down that road. You don't know what is happening. If you knew what that road led to, you would be off it. You would be off that road. Oh, Father, let your spirit descend on these listeners right now, my God. They told Jesus, they told him Jesus from Nazareth is going by. And ladies and gentlemen, when Jesus of Nazareth is going by your life, when he becomes present in your mind, do not miss your opportunity. Do not miss your opportunity when Jesus goes past your mind, when you're aware of what is going on. You know what's happening. It's the presence of the Holy Ghost showing you who the Lord is, the narrow road that leads to life. I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life, Jesus said. That's who he is. 
the way, the truth, and the life. Many of you speak a truth. Many of you don't know what's happening when it comes to the truth. But Jesus is the truth, the way, the truth, and the life. When you know him, you'll find the truth. You'll be able to accept the truth. Peace will descend upon you when you start to know what is happening. Oh, I can sense the Holy Spirit. My God. I can sense the Holy Spirit. The blind man cried out. He cried out. He knew what was going on. He was blind, but he could see. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He knew what was happening. He couldn't see. He couldn't see, but he could see with his mind. He knew what was happening. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He didn't miss what was happening. But ladies and gentlemen, look what happened. And this has happened to many of you, not just with the Lord, but in life and in love as well. You've been misled. You've been misled by the devil. You took the wrong advice. The people leading the group warned the blind man to be quiet. Oh yes, there's a time to be quiet. And there's a time to cry out. And when Jesus is going by, ladies and gentlemen, viewers, that's the time to cry out. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Somebody say it. Somebody say it. Receive. Receive the master. I know people are being healed. When you cry out, Son of David, have mercy on me, guess what? He stops. Jesus stopped and ordered the blind man to be brought to him. Right now, the Holy Spirit is descending upon you because he knows that you're reaching out to him, his precious spirit. Oh, Lord, my God, thank you. Receive his spirit upon you. Oh God. Oh God. When he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Right now, Jesus is saying to you, What do you want me to do for you, child? You know what's happening. What do you want him to do for you? Really, what do you want him to do for you? He's asking you, what do you want me to do for you? I can see that you see. I can see that you were blind, but now you can see. What is it you want me to do for you? Do you want me to take away pain? Do you want me to take away drugs? Do you want me to take away alcohol? What do you want me to do? Do you want me to help your mind? Do you want me to bring love back? Do you want me to stop the person that's... What do you want me to do? Ask him right now. Viewers, ask him right now. Lord... This is what I would like you to do. I can sense his presence. I can really sense his presence. I'm not, this is real. The Holy Spirit's ever there. You can have him whenever you want. He'll never leave you or forsake you. He said, Lord, I want to see. Lord, I want to see. You might want alcohol gone. You might want drugs gone. You might want children out of the house. You might want problems gone. You might want healing. You might want peace. You might want health. He wanted to see. 
And Jesus said to him, then see. If you want to give up alcohol, then give up alcohol. If you want to give up drugs, then give it up. If you want to ring somebody, then ring. If you don't want to ring, don't ring. This is what Jesus is saying to you now. If you want peace, then have peace. Rest in him. You're standing before him and he's saying to you, what do you want? I'll give you peace. Let his spirit descend upon you and give you peace. Receive. It was there the whole time for you to receive. The peace of the Holy Spirit around your chaotic circumstances. He said, then see, you are healed because you believe. Ladies and gentlemen, if you believe, you'll have what you believe. You will have what you believe. And at once the man was able to see and he followed the Lord. Thanking God. And all the people saw and they praised God. Ladies and gentlemen, there's something beautiful happening here tonight. God's presence is real. And I pray for all of you, right now, that you come from the side of the road onto the road that leads to life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And right now, if you want to receive him, repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I believe. Forgive me my sins. Fill me with your spirit. And bring me your precious peace. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Thank you ladies and gentlemen, viewers, for joining me for this healing service. God bless you. Rest in his presence. Rest in his beautiful presence. This is Reverend Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia. Bye for now.